disaster struck. He went too low and died, forcing him to start DV2 over again. He lost over a minute, and ended up missing the record by just seconds. Had he skipped doing DV2, he would have had the world record. So, Jack kept going. More long attempt sessions, more failed runs. But on June 24th, he'd find himself in an eerily similar situation. A best possible time of 2.28.08.5-5. Once again, he could skip DV2 and still get the record. to get the game of 